Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Too Much Tech. Today, we got some new stuff, as always. Stuff from the Apple Store, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at the new 11-inch iPad Pro. The new Smart Keyboard Folio as well, and the brand new Apple Pencil. Let's do it. I brought a knife just in case, but uh, let's just go right ahead. And then check out this all pad. Get that out of the box. Man. This thing is like, it's hefty, but it's light at the same time. And would you look at that? Apple, they even threw in the fast charging USB C brick. Can you believe that? Wow. Yeah, this is the same charger that they should put in the box with all the new iPhones so that you can actually fast charge. It makes sense that they do it with the iPad, but um, dang Apple, like, come on, just give it to us. With our $1,200 iPhones, right? USB-C cable to charge the new iPad Pro, no longer lightning, it's all USB-C now. It's probably some stickers and stuff in here as well. Yep, stickers, little guy, we don't need that. It's an iPad, it's all the same. Yeah, nice little USB-C brick. Nice USB-C cable. Now let's go ahead and peel this off. This space really looks so nice. And would you look at that. Wow. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. That USB-C port looks super clean. Oh man. This is definitely dope. Camera hump is huge. And that Apple logo looks huge too. What in the world? I didn't think uh, 11 inches would look much bigger than the 10.5 or the 9.7, but it is a big difference. Or maybe they just made the Apple bigger, who knows? While that's turning on, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the Apple Pencil. Trash is bothering me. Look at that. Designed by Apple in California, made in China. That, is that a scuff mark I see on the Apple Pencil? Or it's like a little red dot. Oh, interesting, very interesting. We get a, a, a dirty Apple Pencil, what? No Apple stickers with the Apple Pencil though, eh? We'll save the smart keyboard for later all of a sudden i want to sell my old ipad pro and get this one <laughs> this just makes so much more sense just having that apple pencil just why didn't they think of this like five years ago man the big craze with this ipad is that everybody seems like they love it but the problem that everybody has is the same problem that ipads have every single year you got this incredibly good hardware but it doesn't exactly have the software to take advantage or at least take full advantage of all that power that the ipad has and i'm not gonna lie i kind of have to agree i think that ipad os or pad os or i don't know whatever tablet os it should definitely be a thing i think ios and ipad os should be separate all right and we are in it this ipad is looking pretty darn good let's turn that brightness all the oh holy crap all right so we're gonna go ahead and install a youtube on there because that's all everybody uses ipads for anyways to be honest is watch youtube videos keep it a buck with you i'm going to check out this smart keyboard really quick and use that as and we're going to use this as our stand holy crap this thing does not want to come up come on out little keyboard it's okay we're not gonna hurt you oh my goodness would you look at that even got some documentation here again no stickers no stickers with the accessories apple as much as they cost i think that they will throw in a couple of stickers with their accessories but i think not all right so just throwing this on there it attaches with magnets oh, that is cool it looks so like sleek thin it looks like this this is a total package this is expensive as heck it really is but this is definitely the total package like this is how you iPad the right way. Now I'm just curious if like, if doing this 
it's something that is like comfortable like doing like on your lap you know what i mean because it's like if you want an ipad to be a laptop replacement i feel like that should be uh that should be possible wakey inspired i just watched the toy story tra the toy story trailer on uh on this ipad to test out like the screen and the speakers and the speakers sound pretty freaking good Oh yeah, yeah, these speakers are fantastic. Like, holy crap, just the dynamic range, like, holy crap. What? Man, you guys gotta check out my boy Lakey Inspire. Like, his music is fire. Okay, so, this screen is like fantastic. Like, I'm literally, I'm freaking, freaking stuck, like, playing with this home screen because it just looks so buttery smooth. It's like, it's a 120 hertz screen. Honestly, this is like freaking a gaming laptop, like on the go, as far as like screen quality, screen quality. But the thing is, this, I guarantee you, has better color reproduction than any gaming laptop because the user are gonna use TN panels where this one, I think it's an IPS LCD. The viewing angles are fantastic. Like I'm looking at it from this off angle and the colors don't look washed out at all. They look fantastic, they look accurate. It's just, Apple, they nailed it. They nailed it. Now using the Apple Pencil, I don't know if you guys can tell like what I'm drawing, but oh crap. You'll see it in a second. It's gonna be beautiful, I promise. I'm a freaking pro artist. Like look at me, I got this this Apple pencil. I'm out here killing the game. I'm a dark-skinned Van Gogh fam. If Van Gogh drew pictures of Sonic and was black, this thing can do so much. It has a screen that rivals gaming laptops. It also has a screen that rivals professional laptops. This level of quality is insane. We have everything we need hardware-wise to be able to make some pretty crazy content because the benchmarks on this thing are in freaking incredible. Like the benchmarks on this thing rival MacBook Pros, like the base level 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro with an i5 processor from Intel. Like it's, it's ridiculous. Now this whole setup is about the same price as that. So I really would hope that it would for this kind of device. If you're not an artist or a professional that you like need to sign like a lot of documents, um, I mean, it's very hard to find a use case for this. The best use scenario that I can think of for an iPad is if you're a light user, you know, you do a lot of like web browsing, maybe typing up some documents, emailing, maybe something like that. If you're a student, really is like about the best that I can think of for a device like this. You've got the ability to be able to throw out multiple apps and work on them at the same time. You've got the all day battery life that you're probably gonna need as a student because you're probably not gonna wanna be right next to a wall charging your laptop because it's only got three or four hours of battery life by the time you get to your, you know, in the middle of your second class in college. Having something like this where you're gonna be able to do a lot of you know note taking and typing up papers maybe watch a couple videos during lunch editing a few photos this definitely makes a lot of sense for that especially when the full versions of photoshop and lightroom come to the ipad i think by like early next year so within a couple months this thing is going to be a really powerful device as far as photo editing now video editors on the other hand probably still be better off with a laptop because until we get like a full version of Adobe Premiere or Final Cut coming to the iPad, it's extremely hard to recommend because iMovie is obviously not gonna cut it. This thing is so great, but it just falls kinda short. The Apple Pencil really doesn't do much for me. Not gonna lie, this is 10 times better than the Apple Pencils I have on my old iPad Pro. And Apple, they should have thought of this charging design years ago. But that doesn't change the fact that even if I don't use my old Apple Pencil right now, I can't really come up with a good enough reason why I would use this Apple Pencil because yes, I could take notes, handwritten notes with the Apple Pencil right now. I would much rather just go ahead and drop it in this case and type up the notes because the keyboard is actually really decent. On the 11 inch, the keyboard is decent. I'm pretty sure on the 12.9 inch, the keyboard is a lot better because the keys are more spaced out and it'll feel a little bit more like a traditional laptop feel. But I could see myself 
using this keyboard on a regular basis and getting used to it, you know, if I had to take notes. And I will more than likely go with the 11 inch over the 12.9 anyways, because that thing is huge, man, it's huge. And this is like, honestly, the perfect size. It feels big, but the footprint is small. I don't wanna carry around a 13 inch iPad everywhere. Supposedly there's like some rumors of like a 15 inch iPad being made and I, I believe it, I, I believe it. Let's just say that that is true, right? And we got 15 inches of iOS. I feel like that would be almost a waste. All right guys, so during this video, it was a long video, but my camera died a couple of times and uh, some footage got lost, a little including the uh, the outro of the video too. So just recording something else for you guys, but I really appreciate you guys coming through to the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. This is pretty much gonna end my thoughts and conclusions on the new 11 inch 2018 iPad Pro. The biggest thing is we need iPad OS just so that it can make better use of the hardware with software that makes sense. More sense than, you know, pocket software essentially. So we need more powerful video editing. We need mouse support. We need a bunch of things and we need something to truly bridge the gap between iOS and Mac OS slash Windows. But if we're just talking about how good of an iPad this is, this is hands down the best iPad that has ever been made. So don't get that twisted. I'm not saying this product is bad, but just kind of for the price, especially for the complete setup, um, definitely look at your use case, think about your needs and see if a MacBook or a uh, Windows laptop would more properly suit your needs. But if you're a student, I can't think of any better device to have as a student. All right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next one.